but we could have some fresh snow for all of those skiers and snowboarders this weekend. Yeah, that would be perfect timing. We're looking at Friday afternoon and night for some accumulating snow across the region. Before we get to that, though, uh, a small chance for some light snow tomorrow. Now, tonight will be dry. 27 was the high today, so even with a return to sunshine, still below average, we should be around 35. 7 was the low. Average low is 20, and no rain or snow for La Crosse today. 27 degrees with a mainly cloudy sky. Feels like 20. A little bit of a breeze at about uh, six miles per hour. Warmer conditions over the central plains, but we are stuck in that cooler air. Uh, teens to the north, 20s here in La Crosse. Uh, the coldest reading up in Eau Claire at 19, 25 in Viroqua and Sparta, 28 in Prairie du Chien. Uh, winds are starting to ramp up again from the southeast, and that trend will continue overnight, uh, currently causing wind chills in the teens to around 20 degrees. Feels like six, though, up in the Twin Cities. Now, some high and mid-level clouds moving in right now, uh, but kind of a disorganized uh, system along the front range of the Rockies will get its act together overnight, bring a chance for some light snow or a mix tomorrow, especially during the uh, morning hours. And then the stronger storm we're watching, the energy is just pushing on shore, so the uh, forecast models will be able to sample the uh, system a little bit better. But right now, uh, a lot of them agreeing on the storm track from southeastern Colorado to near Milwaukee, and that's a favorable track as the heaviest snow tends to fall north of that track, and that would bring it right through uh, the heart of our viewing areas. And of course, this storm is still about 42 hours out, so that track could fluctuate just a little bit. All right, here's what we're thinking right now in terms of sky tracker dry tonight. That weaker disturbance for tomorrow brings a chance of snow, maybe a mix in spots as well. Notice how it quickly moves out, though, tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night, and then kind of a lull before the main storm arrives for Friday afternoon and night. You can see that snow working its way into the area by about lunchtime and then spreads across all areas uh, with some pockets of heavy snow heading into Friday evening. Now for tomorrow, uh, not a lot of snow expected, generally less than an inch for most areas, but then a winter storm watch for that Friday system for the afternoon into early Saturday morning. Uh, these counties shaded in blue have the best chance for four to eight inches plus. Of course, we will fine tune expected totals tomorrow as that storm gets a little bit closer, but travel impacts likely. So be prepared, uh, especially for that Friday evening commute. And as I mentioned earlier, that storm's still about 42 hours out. So there could be some fluctuations in the storm track and uh, exactly where the highest totals uh, occur could uh, uh, need to be adjusted just a little bit as well. So something to uh, monitor over the next, uh, say, 24 to 42 hours or so. So for tonight, clouds thicken, becoming breezy. 22 for the low. We'll probably hit that before midnight and then rise a bit overnight. 37 tomorrow with that chance of light snow, maybe a mix, uh, primarily during the morning hours. Should start to taper early tomorrow afternoon. 34 on Friday with an alert day because of that chance for some heavier snow. Friday afternoon and Friday night, that tapers early Saturday. Kind of breezy, though. That could cause some blowing snow. And then dry Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Highs in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Look at Wednesday of next week. Now, just how warm we get, a lot of that will hinge on how much snow falls from Friday's system, but we could easily hit 50 plus degrees on Wednesday. And not only that, maybe some rain showers with some uh, gusty south winds. So uh, kind of a knee jerk reaction from a winter storm on Friday to potentially 50s mm -hmm. next Wednesday. That's wild. Yeah, a little bit of whiplash there. Yeah. A little Weather different. Whiplash. All right, thanks, Bill. <laughs> okay.